I want to thank all the media members for joining us for this important announcement. This recall of 29 million IKEA chests and drawers is one of the most comprehensive consumer safety recalls in American history. And as you're going to see today from this demonstration, there's a reason for that. Every two weeks, a child in the United States is killed in a tip-over incident involving either furniture or TVs. Think about that. Every two weeks. And in that time, hundreds more are injured. And many of those injuries are very, very serious. These are tragic numbers, and they include just from these Malm products alone, a two-year-old boy from Pennsylvania, a 23-month-old boy from Washington, a 22-month-old boy from Minnesota, and other, three other children who lost their lives after an Ikea chest or a dresser tipped over and fell on them. To protect young children in millions of American homes, CPSC and Ikea together are announcing a joint recall, as I mentioned, of 29 million of these Ikea chests and drawers. If you have or think you might have one of these products, please act immediately. It is simply too dangerous, I repeat, it is too dangerous to have the recalled furniture in your home unanchored, especially if you have young children. We have worked with IKEA to make this recall as simple as possible. There are two options. Take the chest or dresser back to any IKEA store and get a full refund or store credit depending on the age of the product. Or if you're set on keeping the product, call IKEA for a free anchoring kit and anchor it yourself. If you are unable or unwilling to take your chest or dresser to a store, call IKEA and ask them to come and remove the product from your home and you will get your refund or store credit. I wanna repeat that. If a consumer does not want to or is unable to take the product back to a store, IKEA will come free of charge and remove that product from the consumer's home. Same with the installation of the anchor. If a consumer is unwilling or unable to anchor the product, IKEA will come free of charge one time for an in-home installation. Please do it right now and you can save a child's life. If you have an Ikea chest or drawer, we are imploring you to please act on this recall. I do want to stress that Ikea has worked cooperatively with the CPSC on this comprehensive and necessary recall. I do want to commend them for this huge step forward on safety. Ikea has been a leader on many product safety areas. They have protected children by phasing out unnecessary chemicals in furniture, by phasing out deadly cords in window, product, window blinds, and by phasing out cloth crib bumpers. And now they are taking this leading step on furniture safety. The company has made an important commitment to us, the federal government, and to the American public to sell in the US only dressers that comply with the most up-to-date performance standards for furniture stability. I fully expect all furniture companies to do the same. Those failing to do so should pay very close attention to the details of this particular recall with IKEA, as those companies should be expecting to be hearing from us as well. CPSC will seek recalls of other brands that pose an unreasonable tip-over risk to innocent children. Today's announcement is not the end of the work that we are doing on this hazard nor should it be for the furniture industry. In fact, one of our top engineers was in Sweden a few days ago to meet with the engineers at IKEA's headquarters to discuss new and innovative ways to protect children from this ongoing and deadly hazard. IKEA has several promising ideas to prevent injuries, and I again commend them for their willingness to work on creative solutions, and I do believe in the ingenuity of the entire furniture industry. I also want to recognize those families across the country that have turned tragedy into advocacy. They've made it their life's mission to prevent another child from being killed in a tip-over incident. 
Importantly, I want to mention Lisa Seifert of Shane's Foundation, whose son Shane was killed by an unstable piece of furniture in his own bedroom. Lisa has spent her time since that tragic accident educating the public about the hazards of furniture tip over and working tirelessly to improve furniture stability standards. And as I've told Lisa, when I've met with her numerous times now, I think of her, her son Shane and his story every night as I do with many of the parents who've lost children when I kiss my own two boys to sleep and I'm so grateful that I've had another day with them. So for Lisa and for all the families, this is a big day and they've had a huge part in that. We certainly share their sense of urgency. Consumers, especially parents with young children, need stable furniture in their homes. I've seen firsthand that innovative furniture designs that enhance stability are functional, they're attractive, and they're definitely possible. Now is the time to embrace new, more stable designs and to make these tragic tip-overs a thing of the past. I am calling on the furniture industry to accelerate bringing safer designs to market. I know we can have a thriving furniture industry and safer children at the same time. Now is definitely the time to make this happen. We're going to now do a demonstration with the CPSC staff to show you what is happening real life in American homes and why it is so urgent to act on this recall. So what you're going to see here now is a simulation, and this is real. This is, this is an actual way that these units are tested, enacting what actually occurs based on real incidents. A child sees something on top that he or she is attracted to. It happens in all of our homes, despite best efforts by parents. A toy is left up there, a remote control. Children climb. Again, I've got two boys. I know it. They do it all the time, despite me trying to stop them. Child gets up on the furniture. Parent has turned his or her back for a moment, and this is what happens. That is as real as it gets. And for that family, that is it. This is a six drawer model of the mom. Now I'm gonna show you the same demonstration on the five drawer. So I hope that that conveys the gravity of the situation. Again, we want to urge consumers to immediately take advantage of it. Both IKEA and CPSC are urging consumers, if you cannot immediately get an anchor or take the product back to the store, at least take it out of, of where a child can access it. That is the most important step immediately, is to take it away from where a child can get access to it until you can take advantage of the recall. Please get a refund get a repair kit, whatever works best for you, but let's end this tragic scenario. Thank you, I'm happy to take one-on-one -on -one interviews.